Hi guys, this is Dan from Magic Pachinko Restorations with another short video on a vintage pachinko machine. Certainly if you enjoy watching these videos, please click on the subscribe button below and join my YouTube channel. There's plenty of videos on uh, plenty of pachinko machines, a lot of how-to stuff, answer a lot of your questions. You can also visit magicpachinkorestorations.com and that's where you can contact me. If you do contact me, please leave a phone number. Um, I will call you as soon as the email comes in, which is right after you click on it on the website. I get a notification. You put a phone number in. I'm going to call you. Look for a 585 number. Don't let it go to your spam folder. That'll be me. And I love to talk to people. So please do that. Again, click on subscribe, like, leave comments on YouTube, so on and so forth. So I am back from my uh, month in Myrtle Beach. We had a great time with the family. Got a new Bills hat. They've got a great selection of Bills hats uh, in Myrtle Beach. There's a, a store at Broadway on the beach that has over 50,000 hats in it. And so it's pretty easy to find a pretty cool Buffalo Bills hat down there. So what we have here is a 1971 Nisogen Model B. This is one of the first Model Bs that came out um, in the early 70s. And this is actually called a blueback, and I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Um, did a full restoration on it, new play field. You know, you, you guys all know what I do when I do the restorations. So this is a full restoration, very pretty machine with the QP and the, uh, it's called the Combit Attractions. So right now, the, um, this little tab here is down, and they, they swing up. And when a ball goes in these, it'll funnel through and open up this tulip. But you have to get a ball in here to open these. So if you put a ball in here, it'll open this one. You put a ball in here, it'll open this one, and so on. But when a ball goes down through, it closes them, and it won't allow the ball to go down and open the tulip. So um, it still plays well. It still pays out really well. Um, someone along the line removed the lock. There's no lock on this. So here's why they call it a blueback. Um, Nisogen typically uses clear plastic or clear and brown or all brown. Um, evidently, when they first started switching over, uh, they used blue plastic. So this is called a blue back. It has a slightly different um, ball dump mechanism on it than it does the mo most of the Model Bs, but pretty much everything else is the same. So plug it in. And when you plug it in, the ball out light will come on. Quite often the ball light out light is located up here and shines through a red attraction. This particular model, it's over here and it shines through the, uh, the green strip along the, the side there. But that does signify there's no balls or low on balls and there are no balls in this machine right now. So when you get ready to play, you wanna take a handful of balls, drop them in the upper hopper. And if everything is good, they'll leave the upper hopper, go down the upper feed tray into the turnaround, into the lower feed tray, and into the jackpot. And once they start to fill the jackpot up, they stop and start to back up. So we're going to fill this. And I do sell pachinko balls, so if you do get a bag of pachinko balls, um, it'll be 500. You want to put 475 of them right there. That's where they belong. The rest of them are going to be out in the front. You will need a, a catch basket like this. The losing balls drop out of this chute and the winning ball comes out of here, but they do drop out of the machine. Uh, that's part of what, what they, how they were set up in the parlors. So now that this is fully loaded, the only other thing you need to make sure of is that your seesaw is in the right position. So seesaws should be in this position. Seesaw is that white piece of plastic in there. It doesn't want to be in this position. If it is, there's a little rod here you just push up on and that'll bring the seesaw up. So right now the machine is ready to go. It's plugged in so there's power to the ball out light and the jackpot lights. The jackpot lights are controlled by a switch over here and light like that when you do get a jackpot. Okay, so this machine is ready to go. You will take the remainder of the balls 
put them in the front feed tray. So again, if you have 500 balls, you're gonna put 475 of them up here, 25 of them in here. This is all you really need to get started. So the first time you try to launch a ball, nothing happens. It takes one cycle to get a ball in on the launch ramp, and then you launch a ball. So the proper way to launch a ball is push this all the way down and then just let it roll off your thumb. The spring tension is adjustable. I try to get it so that the ideal spot for a pachinko ball is for it to lose, lose its momentum right here and let gravity take it down through the center. So you can go all the way down to load a ball and then let go a little bit and it'll stay on the left side. If you go all the way down and let go, they tend to go to the right side. So that was a jackpot. It went in here. It went over to here and opened up the tulips. So now we've got a bigger target to aim for. Let's see if we can get another win. There, it goes in the tulip. So that's the 71 Nisogen Model B. Let's see if we can get a few more wins before we go. There you go. Hope you like it.